You know, so in my last few videos, I've gone up into some snow and I've had to turn around and come back down. And a lot of people leave comments about how I need to get chains or they should get me some chains or if I had chains on the truck, you know, that I could get anywhere I want, that basically I would have made it if I had chains, you know, that I need a good set of chains. And the reality is chains can be very useful, but in the backcountry, more likely than not, chains are not going to do you any good because once the snow gets so deep that it starts to build up underneath your vehicle, the chains are no longer going to be able to get a hold of anything to get traction. Uh, if you're on hard packed snow and ice, like you're driving over a mountain pass or something and you're on hard packed snow and ice, chains are very effective. But in the backcountry, when you start to get into very deep snow and specifically uh, very deep uh, heavy snow, like wet snow, chains are going to become ineffective because once you start to get that snow up underneath your vehicle and it starts lifting your vehicle uh, up a little bit and those chains are no longer able to get contact with any ice or hard packed surface that they can truly dig into they're not going to do you any good they're just going to spin just like if you didn't have them on at all so actually right now i've got my buddy brett behind me and uh, I'm working my way up into the mountains here and we've had some fairly fresh snow in the last few days so uh, we're gonna get up into some deep snow where they uh, where we start getting a build up underneath the truck and we're gonna show by putting the chains on the front tires how they're gonna be ineffective and the truck will not be able to go any further all right so we're starting to get to uh, into some deeper snow so before we get into too deep and it gets too hard to get, get the chains on, I'm gonna go ahead and get these chains thrown on. So I'm just getting them out on the tailgate, getting them laid out, uh, getting them, everything untangled so that they'll be uh, easy enough and straightforward to get on. All right, guys, well, we didn't make it very far. In fact, we didn't even get in as deep as snow as I expected that we would, but this snow is actually really wet and it's really heavy. It's, it's weird. And um, yeah, and the truck's kind of sinking in it and everything. So even with the chains, I didn't even barely get to the point where my pumpkin was, was dragging before uh, it would go no further and the, ch and the front wheels just started to spin with the chains on. Uh, you know, typically, if the snow was a little lighter and fluffier, I definitely could have got into some a little bit deeper snow or expected to get in deeper snow, but you get into this wet snow and like I said, it def this wet snow will, will definitely slow you down. There's different types of snow and I don't think people kind of get that, <laughs> no, do they? No. <laughs> um, so you got light fluffy snow, like fresh snow that's light and fluffy and, and you could have feet of that and you could drive through it with probably no problem with no chains. Uh, it would just blow out of your way, but as soon as it starts to get wet and get heavy like this, uh, it gets to be a real problem. And you were talking to me a little bit about where the snow gets to your wheel line. Explain that a little bit. Well, whenever the snow gets up to your hub, that's the moment where your wheel is now pushing instead of you're rolling over the top of it. Right. And uh, the other thing is, is if you can feel the road surface underneath the snow, you're good to go. But as soon as you start getting wheel hop, and that you start losing traction, that's when you're gonna have issues. Yeah, so anyways, like I said, I, I, the main thing that I wanted to do with this video, guys, is like I said, in some of my other videos, I had probably every other comment was like, if you just had a set of chains, you would have made it. <laughs> and, and that's not the reality in the backcountry. Chains are made for hard packed surfaces like ice and hard packed snow so that, so that that metal chain can dig into that ice and grab something to give you traction. When you start getting out here in the backcountry and you start getting in the deep snow, uh, the chain doesn't have anything it can grab. It's just it's just pushing snow around is all it's doing. And once, especially once you start getting that snow built up under your vehicle, uh, and you start to cut, and the vehicle starts to get kind of shoved up a little bit, there's nothing those chains are grabbing a hold of. It'll just it, dig a hole. Yeah, just digs you down until you're basically just sitting on top of the snow, and then you <laughs> might as well just be on a set of jack stands. If you really want to be able to come out in the backcountry, you need to have something like Brett's Jeep here. Uh, where he's taking the time and he's got 
got lift on it, he's got bigger tires, he's got flotation, he can get up on top of the snow where, you know, I've just got regular stock tires on, well, regular stock size tires. I do have snow rated tires and they're very good tires, but you, they're only 31 inch tires. Uh, even if I aired them down, they're 10 ply tires, so they don't even, you know, really bag out. So you don't get uh, much surface area and surface area is key when you're out in the snow is and out in deep snow is you want that you want that bit of bag out you want to get that surface area so your vehicle will get up on the snow anyways i hope you found this video useful if you did please give it a like uh, if you like this type of content i am going to try to start doing a little bit more of this type of content along with my normal content so look forward to that and we'll catch you guys again outside